These men have been recently detained. They're some of up to 4,000 ISIL fighters thought to be waging a war against the Afghan government. Most of them are foreigners. They asked me to join a training center in Nangarhar. That's where I met people from Pakistan, Iran, Uzbekistan and Balochistan. There were four brigades in the center. This man says he was tricked into joining the armed group. I was in Russia, then I traveled to Iran and then to Afghanistan. When I arrived, I realized I'd been conned. My goal was to study Sharia. Since ISIL entered Afghanistan two years ago, it's been behind a number of attacks. In December, ISIL claimed responsibility for an attack on a Shia cultural center that killed 41 people in Kabul. A month later, ISIL fighters stormed the offices of Save the Children in Nangarhar province capital, Jalalabad. Two people were killed. Then a suicide bomber blew himself up close to Kabul's university, killing 29 people and injuring dozens more in March. This road leads to Nangarhar, where the fiercest battles between ISIL fighters and government soldiers have taken place. The US government dropped the so-called mother of all bombs in the province last year in an effort to annihilate the group. A year on, few of the Pashtun tribes who live here are joining ISIL. They remain war-weary after decades caught up in the Taliban's rebellion. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.